everyone and welcome to another exciting weekend with Z Connect. This is Priya and I've got a fantastic lineup of entertainment, stories and surprises just for you. So grab your coffee, settle in and get ready to fuse your weekend with a dose of fun and inspiration. Without further ado, let's get straight to what's coming up next. Today we have the immense pleasure of welcoming a true legend of Indian music. Someone whose voice has captivated millions around the world. From the soul-stirring Chaiya Chaiya to the Oscar-winning Jai Ho, his songs have become the anthems of our lives. With a career spanning decades, he brings unmatched energy and emotion to every performance. Join us to meet the one and only Sukhwinder Singh. Know about his incredible journey, the stories behind some of his biggest hits and what continues to inspire him as an artist up next.
एब्सोल्युटली तो एक बार एक लाइन हमारे लिए चक दे चक दे इंडिया चक दे चक दे इंडिया इंस्टेंटली थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच टाइम फॉर अस टू मीट अनदर इंस्पायरिंग पर्सन बट आफ्टर अ शॉर्ट ब्रेक स्टे विद अस Welcome back. It's time for her story where we spotlight the remarkable women making a difference in our world. Today we are thrilled to introduce you to a celebrated nutritionist and visionary entrepreneur who is transforming lives with her groundbreaking work. Her approach to nutrition and wellness is empowering individuals to lead healthier and more vibrant lives. Let's dive into the inspiring journey of Rashi Chaudhary and discover the passion and dedication driving her success. based in dubai she is celebrated for her transformative approach to wellness and nutrition her innovative methods and dedication to holistic well being have earned her a prominent place in dubai's wellness scene making her a sought after advisor for those who are looking to elevate their lifestyle and health it's a pleasure to have you with us on z connect rashi thanks priya thanks for having me Lovely. So, Rashi, we are going to go back in your nutrition and wellness journey. In fact, we are going to go right back into your childhood and know how you were as a child. Oh wow! <laughs> so, I think as a child, I was just like any other teenager. You know, um, very uh, self-conscious. I've said this so many times. I used to hate my calves. I had a very negative relationship with myself. I think if you had to go even further down uh, as a child. Everyone around me, cousins, far off cousins, close relatives, everyone was overweight. Yeah. So for me, I think intuitively as a child, I knew something doesn't feel right. Yeah. Back then, when I studied nutrition, uh, people did not spell dietitian. Yeah. We were studying it. Yeah. And the first day, I still remember, we were like, all of us were like, oh, how do you spell diet? Yeah. Or dietetics. Yeah. Is what it's called, right? So, um, so and I know that my only motivation to join it was so that I can be. It sounds so. Uh, weird. You wanted to do this for yourself. No, but I was like, I just want to be a hot mom, and I want to have <laughs> kids, and I want to be able to stay thin all my life. So I'm doing this. It was literally that. Yeah, and you probably did not know who to follow for guidance, so you said, I'll become my own teacher. Yeah, yeah. At that time, there was nobody popular. Now everybody is a nutritionist and yeah. a wellness expert. At that time, it just wasn't like this. This was I'm talking about like 20 years ago. Yeah, yeah. Is there any particular habit? or something that you've carried with you from childhood till date a habit a I habit think, or anything that you followed i think even as a child i was an early riser and i feel that has really that is responsible for a lot of other things in my life because mm -hmm. i wake up early mm -hmm. but that happened to me just naturally so I, even as a kid i used to be wake i, I never had a problem waking up early super okay let's move on to some uh, career highlights of your life starting with your first job tell me about it Oh wow that was um, well to me the only highlight when you say first job what comes to my head is the first check that i got it was um, 781 rupees <laughs> <laughs> after a full month of an internship um, and it's it's funny right because that memory is just is just there yeah um, and it's such a sweet memory because i remember how i felt when i got that first check But yeah that was my that was my first it was an internship which i did so then when and how did it actually become like a like a thing that you made a career out of like nutrition you were passionate about getting up early eating healthy eating well keeping your body well maintained but when did you think that apart from yourself you want to help others a and you also kind of want to make a career out of it yeah 
I think it happened very naturally. I got married, I realized I'm, I haven't done the right thing. This is not the right thing for me to do. And then suddenly what happens when one area of your life is not balanced? You start to pay attention towards other things that are working, right? And for some reason, I always had my way around um, speaking to women. And I was like a mini therapist, you know? Mm. Uh, and I realized that was kind of just working. Yeah. So I just put a lot of time, attention, energy just into that. I used to work out of, uh, uh, you know, uh, my apartment yeah. and have clients coming home. And so then I got my license. Then I started working at a clinic. It happened very naturally, very organically. Yeah. So then once you did join the clinic, did you feel that you were doing something very new that people were not aware of? Hmm, this is so interesting because initially it was very like what I had learned. Yeah. Through university yeah. and very um, conventional and yeah. textbook. But then over time, because I went through my own, um, you know, hormonal problems, I had right. endometriosis, which is actually very common now. Yeah. One out of eight Indian women have it. Yeah. Um, and dealing with that made me just completely shift my perspective. I started to realize all the things that I've been taught are completely working against me. And those were probably the reasons, one of the reasons that I actually got endometriosis to begin with, oh. you know. So, a lot of what you, how you were guiding people came from your own experiences and the changes you brought about in your own personal life. And what, what was more, like where were you getting your uh, uh, tips and guidances from to give people? It, honestly, it was just me studying and relearning everything that I'd learned. Like everything that I'd learned in the past, I had to just let it go. Unlearn. And I had to unlearn, I had to relearn everything. And that's also when Protein Bake Shop happened. Oh. Uh, and then I started to realize that, okay, if I'm going to have my coffee every day, I have nothing on the side to eat along with it, which yes. is going to give me something back. Everything is just taking away True. from me, right? So that's when the whole protein bake shop thing happened. You know, when I tried to register my products, yeah. they didn't understand why I was putting protein powders in it. Yeah. They're like, we don't know how to register your product because something like this doesn't exist. Like, what is almond flour? But tell me one thing, like when you actually got into being becoming an entrepreneur, you know, in 2013, starting your own brand and you're saying that you made your family, friends try uh, initially test those products and some of them probably were not liked in terms of taste. Yeah. How how was it uh, for you convincing them, A, and B, what are the other challenges you faced? I think I didn't do any convincing. I think I was just so sure that I need this. And I feel that's just how it's been for me throughout. Yeah. If I feel I need it, I feel like there must be others who need it as well. Yeah. Because I'm not some exclusive, like, you know, there's so many people. Although we are all so different, yeah. I feel as humans, we have so many things that are so common. Our emotions are so common. Like it's the same stuff, right? Yeah. So I'm like, I'm sure there are other women out there who are, who understand this or will eventually understand it, but need this, yeah. right? Because I developed this endometriosis thing and a lot of other hormonal issues as well yeah. uh, back then. And there was too much misinformation. So I knew that eventually people are going to catch on. Like people will know gluten is not good for you because when I removed it, I know how I felt, yeah. you know, when I switched from dairy to like almond milk, coconut milk and all of that, I know how I felt. Now, every uh, cafe here has that option. Every. Back then, there were just two cafes, Comptoir and uh, Seva, which true. had these options, Very you know. Very true. But tell me, overall, uh, when it comes to health and well-being, you've seen it from so many years and it has evolved over the years. We were talking about it offline as well, right? Mm. Tell me how in... Uh, in your view, it has really evolved, in, uh, especially for your clients who probably
which is do what it needs to do. Uh, but I feel I've always kind of, I've, I've, so I feel I've done my bit of processing all my emotions, even the dirty ones. I, I, I try not to shy away from them. But after that, I've always found myself that I just get up and do what I'm supposed to do, right? So I'm very grateful that I have that quality. Good. Yeah. What is your fitness mantra? I think uh, what I try to follow right now, my goal is to like dive into my own body's wisdom rather than depending on external stuff mm -hmm. to understand what is it that my body really needs. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that's where I am today. Yeah. What are the things that you don't leave your home without? Oh wow. Two, three, one, anything. I think, um, I think my phone, right? My phone has everything in it. The course you're gonna do next week, uh, you'll have to go without it. <laughs> I, I know, and I'm really stressing about it. I don't know if it's gonna happen. I'm still like iffy about the course. You know? <laughs> I really don't know if I'll do it. Could you? Else? Um, no, I think I just, it's just my phone. Just I your phone. I always carry my phone with me everywhere. Thank you so much, Rashi. It's been such a pleasure knowing your journey, your story, and also great tips from you. Thank you, Priya. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Oh, you caught me perfecting my Antakshari skills. Well, I'll fill you in on this right after this short break. Stay tuned with us. Welcome back. Antakshari is more than just a game. It's a celebration of music and camaraderie that transcends boundaries. We are excited to present the thrill of this classic Indian musical game brought to you by Divine Events in collaboration with ZTV. Stay tuned to experience the excitement and melodious fun that awaits. मैं आज बहुत खुश हूँ क्योंकि डिवाइन हमेशा कुछ ना कुछ नया लाता है। So this time 15 अगस्त के सेलिब्रेशन में हमने पूरा फ्री डिवाइन अंताक्षरी करके इवेंट किया है जो सीजन वन है अभी हमारी। And yesterday was the first round जिसमें एलिमिनेशन थे और उसमें we had like 36 teams and now we are going to do the final. It was a big excitement with the people because this is the season one, what we did. And it was really fun because Antakshari itself is a big brand. We all know, right? And we want to do something new and something good with which people are happy with. The purpose is to be, make happiness and create happiness. So we always try to do something new and it was, that was a free event, that is a free event. So uh, Erka and Ethnic Wear has been very supportive ZTV has always been kind to us, so I am really grateful to that. We have a judges panel, we have lots of gifts and prizes for the people. So I am really, really grateful to each and everyone who has supported us in our Divine and Takshari. Thank you so much. My name is Hiloni Shah. I am Pradeep Bhavsar. And we have participated here today in Antakshri, presented by Divine Entertainment. We have been very happy today. We have won and won. 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 Thank you so much, Dr. Vyapti Chorshi, for this opportunity. It was a lot of fun. All new songs, old songs, all of them have been done. I have sung my favorite song. नन्ना मुन्ना राही हूँ देश का सिपायू जिससे मेरी बहुत सारी मेमोरीज ताजी हो गई। I really thank you Dr. Vyapti Joshi and Divine Entertainment for arranging such a wonderful antakshri and we are looking forward for more antakshris. It's an amazing event organized by Vyapti Joshi ji and I feel it's the first event which to my knowledge has been organized on antakshri competition in Dubai and we are really looking forward to it for more of such events. Really creative idea and uh, mind-blowing experience. It was a great experience with uh, uh, with this Antakshari competition. We enjoyed each and every moment of it. Thank you very much for this amazing experience. Thank you, Yapti Joshi. Jai Hind.
we really enjoyed this event and uh, it was a thrilling experience and this is first time we are playing uh, Navrat uh, Antakshari in UAE so we really enjoyed it thank you, thank you very much we really enjoyed this Antakshari event and it was a great pleasure to uh, enjoy this thank you so much as you go about your week do remember to carry the spirit of joy and inspiration with you Celebrate your victories, big or small, and keep pushing forward. Thank you for tuning in and being part of our journey. Do keep sharing your feedback with us on our socials and join us next Sunday as well. Until then, take care and keep spreading positivity wherever.